Hey there all of my Leo people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 1st, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So what's going on when it comes to your astrology and the weather for this week? Well, on the second, we've got this beautiful new moon in Virgo, your second house of income, employment, and security. And new moons are all about fresh starts, new beginnings, and new commitments. And for you, this could open up a two-week window period where you are getting a chance to um, jump up a level or step into some kind of new work or financial norm. Now, with a new moon in the second house, this could indicate an opportunity opportunity for new money to come your way, or perhaps even for those of you looking for a new job, new employment, or something new to commit yourself to in a practical regard, this is a beautiful new moon for you. This new moon is also going to be helping to open or maybe even give a growth spurt possibly to either an existing financial pipeline that you have or spawn a new one. On the 6th, however, we've got Mercury in Leo forming a tense square to Uranus recently at that point, which will be retrograde in Taurus. Now we'll talk about Uranus retrograde in a special video coming up soon. But Mercury is in your sign. And so we have high strung energy and forced adjustments coming from this square. Typically with Mercury square Uranus retrograde, we see a conflict of interest coming up. And, you know, there is a push for us to be ready to go our own way where we have been maybe towing the line or maybe trying to assume uh, some kind of responsibility position or standing elsewhere that's not a part of our story and for you this is happening likely as a clash between a personal win or a personal gain that takes you out of maybe what was a familiar space or a familiar pond career-wise, and it may even present a conflict of interest with a professional loyalty, a professional relationship, or even a boss. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Leo, here's your tarot traffic. And it looks like for your earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the queen of wands upright. This is the card of getting lifted up, getting promoted, getting raised up by the actions and the efforts of other people. This week, you might be finding that a lot of maybe work processes, projects, or even financial accounts are starting to go through a bit of a blow up glow up because of this energy here. When we have the queen of wands, this can usually show up where somebody or something is actually making something as big as it could be when it's been kept small. This could be an, a, a, an opportunity for a lot of you to be raised up on another person's shoulders. You could be going through a big reputational boost. You could be offered opportunities to maybe lock in some kind of whirlwind opportunity. Or that a lot of you could be also enjoying maybe a boost to your overall financial matter, you know, circumstances because of a boost of activity and interest in you. For your air sector, when it comes to community, friends, and relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Eight of Wands reversed. And it looks like something might be getting stopped, slowed down, or rerouted as far as a plan is concerned. Now, this could be something relating to a group or family matter, a joint project, something you're working on with other people, or an agenda that you've set for this week. With the Eight of Wands reversed, this could be likely something going on in the other's situation. Maybe something will have come up, or it may just be that uh, how something has been going forward or planned or organized wasn't as good as we could or should have done. But whatever this rethink is, it is going to, you know, it's not gone and done for good. It's actually a good, it's better that this correction opportunity comes up now than later. For your challenge this week, you've got the Three of Cups upright. 
social activity. Uh, the Three of Cups is a challenge is really all about allowing for things to be changed and altered by environmental influences that are showing up for you. When we have the Three of Cups, you want to be ready to let more people get involved in your life. Loosen up any kind of desire to be the only person in charge or in control. When we have the Three of Cups, a lot of people are coming in to help you out, hook you up, support you. Your popularity, again, is going through a bit of a boost. Interest in you is going through a bit of a boost. And with the Three of Cups, we might also need to be ready to entrust certain things to other people that are not going to necessarily do things our way, but do things their way and their way could actually be better than our way anyway we gotta remind ourselves of that sometimes and i'm saying that to myself as a leo moon for your relationships with love romance and partnerships you've got the knight of swords reversed and the knight of swords reversed can indicate conflict or issues coming up around a situation where somebody is behaving very erratically. They're jumping to conclusions. They're rushing something forward too fast. They're kind of letting their stressors and their adrenaline uh, drive the car, so to speak. And this could be something going on with a partner, a significant other, or somebody new, or somebody that you guys have to deal with. With the Knight of Swords reversed, whatever is happening this week, it needs to be grounded. It needs to be made stable and brought back to Earth. Otherwise, conflicts could start fires, and we don't need them to. This could be something that is just a weird, temporary rush kind of feeling, or this could be a situation where a person is not looking before they leap. For your spiritual advice, your guidance for how to get through this week, you've got the Fool reversed. And the Fool card reversed is all about how to handle new beginnings the right way. And you want to be mindful with the Fool card reversed. Usually if it's advice, it's telling us where we need to be more open-minded, where we need to stop thinking in tunnel vision mode, where we need to stop blocking good new beginnings, and where we need to become more mentally and emotionally, be, um, emotionally available to new beginnings and you know, trust a bit more in life, especially in situations where maybe we have been stuck in the same old routine or in the same old patterns for too long. Don't block your own good new beginnings. However, of course, I do want to say this does not say be heedless, reckless, or stupid like the Knight of Swords reversed. Of course, be smart, be accountable, be responsible, but just be open-minded while you do it. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.